you're not going to support me, even though you know I'm the best thing that could ever happen to Israel. And I, I, I'll be that. And the real, I know why you're not going to support me. And, you know, you're not going to support me because I don't want your money. You don't want to give me money, okay? But that's okay. You want to control your own politician. That's fine. Good. But I will tell think about that, folks. Think, don't worry about it. I understand. Hey, I, five months ago, I was with you. Who was better than me? Who is better than me? I gave $350,000 to the Republican Governors Association. I never even got a letter of thank you. It's an honor to be here with the first Jewish president of the United States. The Democrats have very much proven to be anti-Israel. There's no question about that. And it's just... America first. A new world order. Presidential decrees cascading from President Trump's pen. We must not underestimate what he has in store. He will lead a protectionist, nationalistic program. NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement, could be next. And tighter immigration controls for some Muslims. Then Israel. Total defrost of that White House relationship. Already Israel announcing plans to expand settlements. America's regional allies scrambling to respond. of de Holy ja, staat op de tekst. <laughs> en uh, we gaan eens binnenkijken. So uh, to all my viewers who don't understand Dutch. Uh, I'm uh, trying my second uh, live stream on YouTube and uh, I'm here at the Church of the Holy. Well, and the rest you can read because I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> so let's go. Maar het was dus de Church of the Holy. Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Ik weet niet of ik het goed uitspreek. Het is de kerk van de heilige Sepulchre. Nou, en daar uh, was ik zojuist. So I was at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. I don't know if I say it right. Dit was uh, Daniel Gerrits in Jeruzalem. Dag 1. Aflevering 4, Daniel Gerritsen in Jeruzalem, dag 1. Uh, Daniel Gerritsen in Jeruzalem, uh, day 1, part 4.
state of consciousness, which would neither be waking state of consciousness nor pure consciousness. A third quality of consciousness would spring. Experience shows that yet maintains pure consciousness Taking state and maintaining pure consciousness is the experience in cosmic consciousness. By virtue of pure consciousness, one remains uninvolved in with the activity of the waking state of consciousness. Yes. Of uninvolvement indicates that in cosmic consciousness, waking state of consciousness and transcendental pure consciousness coexist. They do not merge into another and transcendental pure consciousness coexist. The infusion, it is the coexistence and this coexistence brings us to, to enjoy 200% of life. Huh? like to know what mm, lots of people in different parts of the world become alarmed when we talk of cosmic consciousness in terms of degrees of growth. Okay. Lots of people in all parts of the world yeah, become alarmed when we speak of cosmic consciousness in terms of degrees of development. We are right. He said, a mango, it could be a ripe mango, a half ripe mango, a raw mango. Hmm? Mango. 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 Oh, mango. <laughs> yes, an unripe mango, a raw mango. <laughs> unripe mango. Cosmic consciousness. It could be 50% cosmic consciousness or 75% or 90% or 99% or full 100. We can compromise with such people and say that even if cosmic consciousness cannot be talked in terms of degrees, at least the development of cosmic consciousness can certainly be talked in terms of degrees. Now Neva asks, if cosmic consciousness can be talked in terms of degrees, 